hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is esther morfu in today's video i want to show you how to trade gbp card gbp card is one of the pairs that if you master it really respects structure and structure i mean if you use trend line if you use zones it really respects structure so what you need if you have never maybe pay attention on gbp card go to your um, go to your watch list or go to your trading view add it on your watch list and start analyzing it with what i'll tell you today so the first thing that i want to do on any pair the thing that the first thing that you always do when you come to analyze you want to go to monthly time frame because we need to understand what is really uh where is the direction what is really happening in the higher time frame so in this case you can see that the market the highest point of this market is all the way to that 2.518 and that was back in 2004 and the lowest point of this gbp card is one point let me get it clear the lowest point is 1.48 the price it's at 1.60 so it means that we can be having this market dropping down to the lowest and it was there back in 20 2010 so once you know the highest and the lowest it's easier now to put in trend line so the trend line you will connect trend line remember you connect two price uh or three so when we connect like that it is easier so we connect like that and then don't leave this price hanging use another trend line to fill the gap so we'll fill the gap like that I'm just showing you how to trade GBP card because it really respects trend line. You can see it has been bouncing on this trend line for so long and this is a monthly trend line. So it really respects structure and uh, zones. So you can see we have another trend line here. You can see that the market is attempting to break this trend line. So what we do, we just put it like that. And then we can wait and see what happens. Now we can wait and see what the mar the market, what the price uh, will do if this candle closes. Will it close being rejected or will, will it close um, below the trend line? That's the first thing that you need to put there very clear. Again, we can mark our very, very uh, key, sup key support zones. We can see that this market broke a very key support you can see here there's a support that the market broke so the point of 1.6556 it broke that support let me show you what i mean they broke here in with a monthly with a monthly candle and for the three good months the market has been going down so the market broke there and then we are at a very very strong support these are very strong support. So what we are, what we think that can happen is um, the market, if they break this support, now it will go down all the way to the lowest price. But unless the candle closes monthly, we cannot judge from the monthly perspective. So what, what I'm getting from the monthly uh, analysis is the market broke a very, very major support. That's what I can see, but it has never retested. So most probably, we can be seeing the market trying to go up to retest this zone. There is no retest on monthly, and we can be seeing the market going up to retest this zone. So that's number one. The other thing, if this market is rejected here, and the candle closes like this, we might have a double bottom on monthly guys this is good because once you have a double bottom remember your neckline is around here so this become your neckline this become your neckline if this is your double top this become your neckline so it means that this market may come all the way may come all the way these are how many pips 1841 so that's why i'm saying whenever you want to analyze any pair go to monthly because once that this double bottom is confirmed if this double bottom is confirmed 
uh, what happens is that you have a long-term buy and that is good because you can hold this trade you can be getting in buy and coming out getting in coming out because you're confident that this market cannot uh, cannot reverse anytime soon so on monthly time frame we have buy is getting supported if we put a uh, no, we won't put any moving average at monthly. So that is what we have on monthly. Let's go to weekly. We see what we are working on. So on weekly, do we have a double bottom? No. On weekly, we do not have a double bottom. Why? Because the market broke. You can see. Now, this is what uh, tricky people don't understand. On weekly, we do not have a double bottom. The market broke our support so the double bottom is not formed with weekly time frame and the reason you understand that is that we don't have much we can do with this uh weekly time frame on or the only thing that we can do with the weekly time frame is wait for this market to retest so this market you can see even on weekly time frame it broke a very very strong support this support was not getting broken since 2019 and it has been broken on 2022 so it has taken 2019 2020 four good years for support to be broken it has it has not been retested so all we can say on weekly time frame we do not have a double bottom that is for sure but what we have the market can start retesting this market this support so if at all we put a uh, 20 ma in place if we put 20 ma you can see we can be targeting the market to come and retest 20 ma and 20 ma is uh, exactly at the line that i had uh, the support that i had drawn so if you want to trade gbp card i can tell you start thinking of buying even if buys are not yet confirmed start thinking don't start uh, selling it because the higher chances we can see monthly we might we might have a double bottom weekly the market might be retesting the uh, the zone of 1.6556 so that being said let's now go to daily and see what we have on daily so i don't know daily uh we want to see daily what we have so daily we do not again have a double bottom you can see it broke the market broke that line so we do not have a double bottom on daily because it broke but we can have a very very short double bottom at this level we might not have that big double bottom but guys we have a very very uh, small double bottom that is supporting us to start buying on daily so daily we have assurance that this market wants to buy. You can see here, we have our first bottom, our second bottom. And then where is the neckline? Now the neckline is here. So this market, I will put that to be maybe purple. So the, the, the purple line is our neckline. So we have first bottom, second bottom. So we have something like that. We have first bottom, second bottom, and that's our neckline. So on daily, again, we are getting supported. So what will happen if you can have a little patience for this market to at least break this neckline? Because what happens is that the market can come, touch 20 MA and get rejected and market goes down. And on a monthly time frame, it will breaks that support that we are thinking it might have a double bottom so you need to have patience in the market once this neckline is broken i think the next the next zone where the market will come it will come to where we want it for to retest so on daily it will have given us a clue that the market wants to wants to go up and then on four hour on four hour again you can see the double bottom is still defined we can have a defined we have a very defined double bottom so gbp card daily and four hour we still have a double bottom and this is the neckline but guess what just like i told you on gbp aud gbp card the neckline has not been broken so one thing that i've come to realize many people don't want to they don't want to spend time analyzing the market and waiting for setups to uh 
give their way but now i've done my part i've told you if you have never traded gpp card start looking for it and we might have if this neckline is broken which when it is broken i'll tell you again i'll create a video and tell you it has been broken and let's buy if it is broken this neckline the market will come to 1.656 because that is the retest that every time frame wants to achieve so guys that is it uh, uh add gpp card in your watch list and that's how to trade it you need to start for monthly weekly daily and now look for entry on four hour thank you so much for watching until next time bye bye